Hey everybody, you're watching We The Fandom, where we discuss comic books, pop culture, and the fandom experience. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to see more content. How's it going everybody? Jacob here at We The Fandom, and today, in lieu of doing a video explaining a new character in the WandaVision series, I instead wanted to talk about what could end up being some really important news. This news tying WandaVision to the upcoming third Spider-Man film and maybe something a little extra. So this news is coming from Instagram of all places. And if you didn't know, the character Flash Thompson from Sony's Spider-Man franchise has a real-life Instagram account where Sony posts stuff as if it was actually the character posting stuff from his life. And there's even a real Daily Bugle tabloid site with J. Jonah Jameson. Um, but yesterday, the Flash Thompson account posted something new from the Daily Bugle. This article talking about the fallout of Spider-Man from Spider-Man Far From Home, where Mysterio died but not before outing Peter Parker as Spider-Man. And I'll just read the article here. Uh, there's a little part that says, After the brave, strong, glorious hero Mysterio exposed the true identity of the madman, the masked menace Spider-Man, there's still no trace of Spider-Man. There's been reports of people in New York saying that they last saw him with an unidentified young lady watching our big reveal. Since then, chaos has erupted all over New York. Somehow people still support Spider-Man, not us. We are all Team Mysterio, baby. Now, police has taken control of the situation. Way to go, Spider-Man. And then below that, um, there's a little part that's kind of like crossed out. It says, is this good for a flash mob? Yes. Is it good for me? No. I have to look at this loser's face everywhere I go now. But the more important part is below that. And obviously, there's there's probably something under there that they'll reveal at some point. But uh, underneath the scribbled part, it says something, something of feeding into Spider-Man's publicity stunts to make himself look good. We have to unite. Put an end to all the super chaos going on. The super chaos, I'm pretty sure, is referring to what's going on in New Jersey with WandaVision. Obviously, uh, referencing the chaos magic and how the city or town of Westview is kind of being held hostage there. But the more important part, well, I guess that part was kind of important, tying WandaVision to Spider-Man. But the more important part, in my opinion, was the sentence underneath it. After it says, put an end to all these super chaos going on, it says, find these darn astronauts. Now, why would that be important? So, recall in the fourth WandaVision episode, they explained S.W.O.R.D., the interim director, Tyler Hayward, was explaining to Monica Rambeau the current state of their astronaut program, saying it's dismal, that they lost half the personnel in the blip, and the other half have lost their nerve. Now, we don't know anything about these astronauts in training. We don't know their names, and we don't know whether... Uh, the astronauts lost in the blip have returned yet, or if the astronauts who are still there have any importance and are going to come up in the future series. But it just so happens, in Spider-Man, or uh, sorry, Amazing Spider-Man issue number one from 1963, Peter Parker attempted to join a superhero team made up of former astronauts. Four of them, to be exact. Now, is this pure speculation? Yes. There is no for sure confirmation that the Fantastic Four will be appearing in Spider-Man. But, I do believe in the strong possibility that will occur. I do think the clues are there. We know that the Fantastic Four are getting their own movie in a couple of years, and about a year ago we had a leak from a quote-unquote industry insider named Mikey Sutton saying that the Fantastic Four would appear in the Spider-Man outing. Take that with a grain of salt, but personally I think there are enough clues to get really excited about. But, that's all I have for you guys today. If you are new to We The Phantom, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like, and I will see you all next time. Bye.